This girl, whose name we have withheld, hails from the central region of Buganda and has lived on the streets of Kampala, begging. The 14-year-old is now free from this horrible street life of feeding on garbage with dogs. We would look for something to eat each day, but couldn't get because it was hard. Sometimes we would get, sometimes we wouldn't get. No one knows where her parents are, and efforts to trace even a single relative have been futile. I don't know who my parents are. When they left me, I was young. She tells NTV how and why she escaped from her aunt, whose whereabouts have also never been established. I tried to go to my auntie's place. My auntie was not treating me well. It would sometimes rain on us. She is now a senior one student in one of the prominent schools in Kampala under the support of one of the non-government organizations. Forced by her aunt to go begging on the streets of Kampala, another girl who hails from Karamojan region tells on TV how she was sexually harassed. Every day I go to the street for begging. I finish like one year going to the street to beg for money. When you don't bring 20,000, you not sleep, you not eat. Any day a man come and said me, can I give you 2,000 go, I, I want to sleep with you? And they said yes. And you can sleep with that man. When I finish to get 20,000 and I take it back to mom, mom, my aunt asked me where do you sleep and said, I was working for the money. You told me to bring money every, every day I bring 20,000. A recent research by non-government organizations has indicated that the number of street children has shot up to 10,000 from 4,000 in 1993. This represents a 70% increase in the past few years. Research by Kampala Capital City Authority shows that over 16 new children troop to Kampala streets every day. The report also says there are 200 street children in Soroti, 216 in Bali, 97 in Jinja, and that 80% of these children are from the Karamoja sub-region of Napak. But we have been told that dyna the dynamics of why the, uh, this, uh, this issue is the same, actually it ranges back from way back, but it's accelerated right now because the disarmament process, that's how we've been explained, that the disarmament process that took place um, recently, like left the people from Napak region uh, uh, defenseless because we, we, we are meant to be told that the people from the Park District were the first people to hand over voluntarily their guns. Marking the Day of the Street Children, a consortium of non-government organizations under the Ampkan Uganda chapter has advised all Ugandans to stop giving money, foodstuffs and other items to street children because it constitutes to the problem. Is, is becoming harmful, is keeping children on the street, then it is dangerous. It's a harmful practice. That needs to be discouraged. In an effort to curb this practice, the Kampala Capital City Authority recently warned that a bylaw will be passed to punish those who donate money and other items to the beggars.